Morley, uh, and the issue is Af AIDS in Africa. And of course, uh, Ms. Uh, White Morley, it's more than just AIDS in Africa. We've talked about AIDS in Tennessee and uh, as a national issue. And I don't think that we could have enough time to mm -hmm. uh, really deal with the uh, issue as you are describing yeah. uh, the issue of AIDS in Africa. But let, let's continue to uh, talk about uh, the impact that it is having on the uh, continent of Africa. Well, uh, I, I brought the pictures by <laughs> for uh, you to look at and, okay. and share with. And, and, and of course, uh, these are uh, some of the uh, images uh, from uh, your trip to Africa. Exactly. Now, what, what you're uh, looking at now are pictures from a mm -hmm. clinic that we visited mm -hmm. as obviously this woman is pregnant. Uh, they allowed us to go into the maternity ward. So mm -hmm. we were directly, we walked straight in off the street, straight into the mm -hmm. maternity ward. Uh, and then the next pictures show Mm -hmm. I'm sure that those are the, the, the babies. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was really interesting to be able to walk in. A lot of these women were in labor. Mm -hmm. uh, the, this is a ward, a, uh, a clinic, a very, very small clinic mm -hmm. of which I intend to continue to support. Mm -hmm. And I am asking for the community to send donations, care mm -hmm. of us, so we can send those donations mm -hmm. to that clinic. This clinic is in need of everything. Mm -hmm. They need everything. As I said, we walked in off the street straight mm -hmm. into a maternity ward. Mm -hmm. There was no sanitary anything. There was no steril sterilization of anything. Mm -hmm. These women were in labor, babies being born while we were there. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, this clinic is in mm -hmm. great need. So as I said, in, and this mm -hmm. clinic is in Nigeria, as mm -hmm. I said, there is a profound need mm -hmm. Uh, uh, in in Nigeria <coughs> very good and of course this this is also one of a, a mother with uh, now all these children are infected uh, I mean all of these uh, women are infected is that uh, well the the woman that you're holding up now is mm -hmm. one of the nurses mm -hmm. holding uh, one of the children that were just that had just been born just mm -hmm. that day mm -hmm. these some of these children are HIV positive and some of these children are HIV negative mm -hmm. which again leaves a note which ones are infected mm -hmm. and which ones aren't. Mm -hmm. These are all God's children and they all need mm -hmm. help. Mm -hmm. These women, uh, there were no men in, in the ward at uh -huh. all. All mm -hmm. you saw were, were women mm -hmm. in labor. There were no men in the clinic. No doctors or no uh, there, there orderlies? Was, there, there was one doctor mm -hmm. who, who led us around and showed us mm -hmm. the tremendous need, mm -hmm. but there were no orderlies. Mm -hmm. She was a nurse, but she was not degreed. Mm -hmm. uh, th this clinic needs so much help. There, mm -hmm. there wasn't a enough linens, there weren't enough beds, there were women in labor that were sitting on, on benches. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this clinic, it's a wonderful clinic. Mm -hmm. They try so hard with the, with the small amount of things that they have. They just really, really need our support. We want to send them medicine, we want mm -hmm. to send them money to be able to buy the things. We want to, to send them just sheets and bedding, the mm -hmm. things that we take for granted right. here, mm -hmm. um, uh, stethoscopes, they have, they don't have those kinds of mm -hmm. things. As I said, just the small things that we mm -hmm. take for granted here, those people at that clinic really, really need it. Those now, women had nothing. What has been the government's response to this? the Nigerian government. Uh, are they trying to do anything or what is just overwhelmed by it? Uh, well, partly they are overwhelmed because we did meet with many government mm -hmm. officials about what they're doing because it was we went over there on a fact-finding mission mm -hmm. wanting to know what the need wa uh, mm -hmm. ac actually was, uh, what the government was doing, mm -hmm. and we found that the government were, were doing several things, but the government encourages mm -hmm. women's involvement. They have asked us to please come back mm -hmm. uh, and be supportive, bring programs, over, mm -hmm. help this clinic, uh, and help people. So they are very much in need and very, mm -hmm. very receptive to receiving mm -hmm. the help. But they have to make sure that, that they trust you. The Niger Nigerians that we dealt with mm -hmm. really have a trust issue. But since we went over on a fact-finding mission, not asking them for anything, mm -hmm. but going over there asking them what we can do to help them, mm -hmm. they were very receptive in receiving us. We made many friends, as I said. We have offices mm -hmm. over there now mm -hmm. that are employed by uh, Nigerians. And mm -hmm. so we're, we're really, really encouraging people here in the state of Tennessee to get involved mm -hmm. with women so we can further help those people mm -hmm. because the need is absolutely tremendous. Mm -hmm. And now this is all over the continent of Africa. And uh, now you also mentioned earlier that uh, you had uh, 
I think you went to uh, some Asian country. I think uh, Thailand. Thailand. Yes, uh, yes, I now, have been to Thailand. Now, now you are also involved uh, there with uh, this as a program, are you not? Uh, yes, yes, mm -hmm. I was involved there with the United Nations uh, mm -hmm. HIV and AIDS in mm -hmm. Thailand mm -hmm. and worked with them for approximately six to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. I was over there. Uh, the need there is great also. Mm -hmm. It's not as bad in Thailand as it is in Africa. Mm -hmm. Accessing medications mm -hmm. uh, in Africa is one of the tremendous issues that are happening over there. Medication is, is a real issue? Medication is mm -hmm. a real issue, and mm -hmm. accessing that medication is a real issue. Well, now, that seems to be something that uh, we should be able to deal with. Uh, in, 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 in other words, the uh, world community, perhaps working through the United Nations, yeah. should be able to create some kind of situation so that medication can be made available. Can be that is a yes. real problem. Yes, that, yes it real, is. Mm -hmm. It is a real problem. The pharmaceutical companies, uh, some of them are trying to step forward, many are not. Mm -hmm. And also, there there is a level of corruption, and some of the mm -hmm. medications are not getting to the designated areas mm -hmm. by which mm -hmm. they need to get to. Mm -hmm. So some of it is not being done on a grassroots level, mm -hmm. and some of the medications are getting to chosen individuals. But these women and children, as you saw, mm -hmm. are in great need, and mm -hmm. they're not the chosen and people, but mm -hmm. they are, as I said, God's mm -hmm. people. Well, now, in, in the end, over the last three or four minutes we, that, that we have here, you've been working with this uh, for many years now. Uh, what do you see as the ultimate outcome? I, it, it, it seems that each time you come, you, you, you tell us that things are probably getting worse. And well, what's the ultimate outcome of all of this? Uh, I, I would say the ultimate outcome is education. Mm -hmm. There is no such thing as too much education. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no such thing as too much HIV AIDS support. Mm -hmm. uh, we need money to bring the education. Mm -hmm. We need money uh, to bring the message. Mm -hmm. We need money to bring the medications. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we need government, the United States mm -hmm. government needs to be more involved. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're sending billions of dollars mm -hmm. um, you know, to Africa on medications, but mm -hmm. there needs to be some one, making mm -hmm. sure that those medications are getting to the right place. Mm -hmm. There needs to be more grassroots involvement, mm -hmm. but the ultimate thing is education. There's mm -hmm. just not enough mm -hmm. education. And of course, uh, what we're trying to do here in, in this country is to uh, provide some kind of loan, uh, some kind of uh, package uh, for aid uh, to Africa. I think uh, uh, President Bush and uh, Senator Frisk have worked together in reference to that. What about that aid package? Uh, is that sufficient or Will that be sufficient to at least meet the need? And of course, we can't do it all by ourselves. Is that exactly, exactly. And and the United States should not be held accountable mm. to do all of it by mm. uh, ourselves. I agree with that. Mm. But no, that package is not enough. It's it's just not enough. Mm. When in the United States, uh, one in sixty African American uh, mm. women are infected, that's not enough in the United mm. States. Mm. And if we think that that those rates of infection are ex extremely high, then rates of infection on the continent of Africa. Are are quadruple that mm. when all when some communities the whole village are infected uh, and children are, are born mm. with no no means of, of taking care of right. themselves we need more money mm -hmm. more support and definitely more education and, and more education Absolutely. education education so we just yes. can't do enough we uh, cannot do enough and, and that's surprising that's the surprising thing about it is that if education seems to be uh, the key uh, Education is almost the most inexpensive thing that we can Absolutely. can provide, Absolutely. and uh, it's through it, and through education. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, we were once told by uh, uh, Dr. Poco mm -hmm. that uh, education uh, is important because AIDS is a behavioral disease, and the Absolutely. only way that you can stop it is education. Yet, and still, we well. Uh, how should we approach this education thing then? I mean, what should we do? I mean, what should be, should we pour money into educational institutions or what? Uh, how should we do that? I, th I think, in my opinion, it needs to be dealt with more on a grassroots level. There mm -hmm. needs to be education infiltration. Mm -hmm. We need not take for granted that because I know something, you automatically Good. know mm -hmm. it. We need, we need to start uh, educating, especially here in the United States, our children at younger ages. Mm -hmm. We also need to begin to really put forth tremendous effort not only to throw money mm -hmm. at an issue mm -hmm. but also th throw strong education mm -hmm. and strong strong risk reduction mm -hmm. education messages and mm -hmm. materials mm -hmm. in the United States as well as mm -hmm. in Africa 
And so we can, you, you, you believe that in the end, we can beat this disease. Oh, absolutely. We're going to have to. Uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. As I said, I'm, I'm a person living with the disease, and mm -hmm. I have been living with the disease for 11 years, mm -hmm. and, and will continue, uh, mm -hmm. you know, to move forward. Mm -hmm. You can live with this disease, but it takes a lifestyle change, it takes education, mm -hmm. and it takes, takes a dedication and a commitment. Very good. And you've got that dedication and commitment. Absolutely. And uh, let me uh, thank you for coming by. And as thank we said you. before, each time that it, 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 it certainly takes courage to do what you're doing, but to bring the kind of enthusiasm and the kind of passion to what you're doing, I Thank think you. that that's more than a courage. And uh, we want to uh, simply commend you for that. And let us encourage our audience to uh, tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.